this is something that most hotels really lack. So. <laughs> You're shouting already. <laughs> but it would be fun and it would entertain the staff. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Bra Ability, Ability Life. Life. arrived at the hotel this is actually a brand new hotel um it's a travel lodge um, i ain't got that yet honey <laughs> he's checking out the bathroom so we've already come in and we're amazed at how big this room is so the corridors are really really wide and even outside normally the outside in the corridors outside the door is normally like you cannot turn but they're really wide in the corridors out there aren't they yeah they are and then, yeah, on. yeah, I turned with my foot plates on. And then here, you've got the double beds, which can be, if you're here with like a carer instead of like your partner, they can be separated. So you've got like a bit of space between you. But what John's really chuffed with is we saw this. Now, this is something that most hotels really lack. So they've got on both sides of the bed. So you've got plug, it, plug sockets and usb ports so this is amazingly awesome because a lot of hotels really lack plug sockets by beds in disabled rooms so it's really good to see travel lodge are listening to disabled people about the need for plug sockets for medical equipment what i also like in this room look at this mirror nice big mirror wheelchair height another socket on the end of the mirror here but it's just it's wheelchair height which is really really nice it's comfortable to use we've got standard desk tea and coffee making facilities a bin a little chair you know it's it's your basics that you need and not over the top plenty of room to get round plenty of gap between here to turn around in uh, ability to hang to close up if you needed, a shelf to pack close up there if you needed, some extra pillows which we like. Two windows are open which I absolutely love, I don't, it's got air conditioning if we want it which we'll probably use during the night but during the day we'll open, I'd prefer these open to get that fresh air in but it's too loud to keep them open at night. Now we're going to check the bathroom out, let's check the bathroom out, nice big TV on the wall. Oh, big air conditioning up there too, honey. Yeah, it's, it's actually part of heat right now. Oh, I love the colours in here. Oh, this is a nice setup too. So, one thing I've noticed with travel logs that they do a lot is they put the pull cord so that you can get to it from the toilet or the shower. Um, I've not ever seen a travel lodge use this type of chair before and I actually have one of these on the wall at home don't use it but we have one on the wall at home um, so yeah and only one grab bar coming down but you've got the grab bars that side I, I prefer the ones where you've got one either side so there's no chance to be falling there isn't one there and that one. but plenty of grab bars a shower that goes up and down for Kara and disabled person. It's really nice. It looks really smart in here. I love the blue contrast in here. Um, sink we can get under. Strange person in the mirror. She goes everywhere. Ah. And 
plenty of shelving for your smellies and that everywhere. In general, pretty awesome. Not bad for the price, really. Yeah. Not bad, it's actually really good for the price. £53. £53 made. <coughs> so, plenty of room. So if you needed, like, if there was two of you wheelchair users in here, you just push the beds over or get someone else to come in and push them over. I think it's yeah. probably one of the first rooms in a long time I've come in and I've could comfortably say two wheelchair users could safely and easily be in this room together. There is enough space, I believe, personally, that two wheelchair users could be in here. Probably we're, we're lucky to get you in, in the room <coughs> past the bed with the foot, it's off. I know. This is, this, is, this is just pretty awesome. There's plenty of room. I get around really yeah. comfortable. So. so now we're going to go grab our stuff from our van. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. If you need anything, Mr. Shell, I'm Emma. Thank you. You're shouting already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. Doors closing. Doors open. Slow. I was trying to see if there's enough room or not. Oh, it's making room Doors for closing. You. Doors opening. Going up. Get your butt in. Doors closing. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I can't get the stuff. You're so oh. slow. <laughs> Doors okay, I'll stay here. I'll sleep here. <laughs> Alright, you can sleep on the left. That's fine. Get out so I can get out there. It wouldn't work that Look how wide these corridors are. Awesome. I just can't believe how wide these corridors are. Really? These are nice wide doorways too, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I don't tell you, I don't think I don't tell you, are not you kind of, honey? Honey? What? What are you doing? I'm going through the drive through uh, Why not? Because you're not. Why? Because you're not, that's why. This is weird. 
Why the weeds? Because they're not a car. But it would be fun. And it would entertain the staff. What? The staff. 